One of the agencies United Way works with is Lifeline's Counseling Services of Mobile. Lifeline's works with United Way 211, a service people can call 211 when they need a helping hand. We provide health and human services to individuals uh, that need basic um, needs for rent payment, utilities, and also child care and other things of that nature. So it may be that you have anxiety and depression because of trauma, because of abuse, because of um, divorce, um, any of the issues that we have because we're human. The University of South Alabama works with the United Way in its Office of Community Engagement. The groups share information on volunteerism and services to help others. In a time of need like this, the safety nets that are provided, the, the resources and information, the connections that these nonprofits provide in this community it is critical. We can't do it without them. So supporting the United Way, just as the University of South Alabama does every year, the community of the University of South Alabama, I do individually and I hope everyone else will consider doing that. It's critical to our survival. So how does United Way learn about the important needs in our community? There is a community resource network that examines current topics and issues, and United Way officials say all funding distributions are volunteer driven. Our volunteers, they're tuned in to the needs of their community, and we really value their input. And then also, we want to be able to say that volunteers make decisions on how United Way funds are dispersed amongst our partner agencies. The network meets monthly to determine needs and target resources for those who need help during these changing times. Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News.